Hey guys, I'm here to do a review on Because I Am Furniture by Telia Chaltis. Um, I could be butchering that name, but I apologize. Please excuse the way I look, too. I, it's my day off, and yeah. Um, let me start off by saying that this book is written in verse. Uh, it also has big print. I like that. I like verse books. I am going to read the inside flap to you guys. Anki's Anki's father is abusive, but not to her. He attacks her brother and sister, but she is ignored, forced to be an invisible witness in a house of horrors. Believing she isn't worthy of even the worst kind of attention, Anki feels about as significant as the living room sofa, until she makes the volleyball team at school. In a sport where you have to yell mine to play the ball, Anki learns for the first time how to make herself heard. As her confidence on the court builds, she finds a voice she didn't know existed, and it's not long before she realizes that if she can make people hear her while she's playing volleyball, then maybe she can be heard at home, too. Honestly, that sounds like it would be a really good book. Very emotional and very deep. Unfortunately, I have to say that it was neither. The book, I love books that are written in verse, so I did like that part of it. But it's also written um, from Anki's or Anki's point of view, um, where it's said in there that the abuse is not happening to her. So she's an outsider looking in. But the thing is, it's very vague. It lacks details. Um, it goes around everything. So you don't really get exactly what is going on. Like, like it's vague about it. Like, you know what's going on. Um but you don't know the details of it and for a book like this I was expecting it to be deep and emotional and like I said it was neither I was very disappointed in this book um yeah I just I didn't get anything out of it at all I had no emotional ties to this book at all it, it just it was almost like I was reading the back of a cereal box or something I mean it just did not do anything for me um really don't have a whole lot to say on it because of that point you know yeah her brother's being abused and yeah her sister's being abused but you don't know exactly what is happening I mean you kind of have to read between the lines so yeah I just I didn't care for it it's you've seen how big the print print was and it's 350 pages but that's not a lot when you got print like this and it's written in verse and this took me a week to read because I just, I mean, I literally read 50 pages or it was 100 pages in 20 minutes. Um, but it took me a week to read. So obviously I wasn't really reading it. Um, and before I even finished this, I actually started another book and I never do that. I just, yeah, no interest whatsoever in this book. I'm sorry. So that's my short review on this because it didn't impress me. Uh, because I am furniture by Talia Chaltus. You know, if there was more detail to it, if it was more straightforward, um, you know, if you could form a connection with the characters, I would really like the book. But it, uh, it, um, regrettably was lacking in those. So, so that's it. Um, I apologize for that review, but I feel that if you're going to review books or even give your thoughts on books to the public, you know, everybody else that whether it's a good book or a bad book, I think that you should state what you think about it and not just on good books. Um, this is nothing bad to the author. Um, it's not attacking her personally or anything, say anything about her personally. It's just, it's the book. So, um, yeah. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.